Complying with BS6 emission norms has led to the introduction of a series of exhaust after-treatment devices in the heavy-duty commercial vehicle segment, such as the diesel oxidation catalyst, diesel particulate filter, and selective catalytic reduction. A key component impacting the type of engine oil used is the diesel particulate filter, or the DPF. The DPF is designed to cleanse harmful particulate matter from the exhaust gas, improving vehicle emissions and global air quality. During combustion, both fuel and oxygen is burned as efficiently as possible. However, inevitably, a tiny quantity of the lubricating oil residue is burned during engine combustion. A DPF reduces the size of the carbonaceous deposits that are created during combustion and emitted from the exhaust of diesel vehicles. Exhaust gas flows into a DPF and through a porous surface, which is designed to block particles above a specific size from passing through. If carbonaceous particles become stuck in the filter, they begin to heat up as hot exhaust gas passes by. The elevated temperature eventually causes the particles to heat up, eventually passing through the filter as carbon dioxide gas. Certain engine oils contain chemistry that produces ash. If these ash particles are caught in the DPF, those particles can never pass through the filter, and over time they will eventually block a significant portion of the filter. A blocked DPF can result in increased back pressure. This can have a negative impact on fuel economy and overall vehicle performance. DPFs work only when engine oils with low levels of sulfated ash, phosphorus and sulphur (SAPs) chemistry are used. Using an incorrect lubricant will quickly lead to DPF failures. However, a well-maintained DPF through the consumption of low SAPs engine oil will maintain cleaner air for everyone. Minimizing the impact of diesel vehicle emissions